Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Unbound playthrough. Last episode we had ourselves a heck of a fight. It was um pretty tough, pretty tough fight, but you know what? We made it through. Um, we have kept the team the same. I know this team was realistically designed to fight that double battle, but you know what? There's some good Pokemon here, there's some fast Pokemon here. Overall, I do like this team. Uh, I have gone ahead and I have caught a couple of extra Pokemon that I don't know if they're going to be useful immediately. But for right now, I think we all just want to get out of Cinder Volcano, so let's just leave. Okay, I checked that bottom floor for stuff, there was nothing there. We are good, we are free, we are on Route 4, we have made it to the other side. Also, there's Porygon, hi! Oh, storage system! Nice, I can show off my Pokemon, like, immediately. I caught this Torkoal, right? Uh, mostly just because it has Drought, and I don't know if we're gonna need Drought at any point, but it's not a bad ability to have. Um, I don't know if we're ever gonna come up against, like, a Water-type gym that's gonna run like rain, but having Drought for that might actually be useful. Yes, I'm considering taking Torkoal into a Water-type gym in this game, don't question it. But overall, not a bad Pokemon. Brave Nature doesn't really matter, it's so slow anyway. If there's a Trick Room team, that we go against. This could be useful as well. And I did also go ahead and grab ourselves a Salander. It's a rash nature, it's female, so it could become a Salazzle, the most important thing. Special attack stat, E minus. You don't, you don't like to see that, but you know what? It'll do. Uh, we have ourselves some poison type moves, we have ourselves some fire type moves. The Torkoal doesn't have anything super crazy, uh, but both of those can be trained up and become a little bit better. Spheel's still in the box, Roganol is still in the box. Will I take those back out? I don't know. For right now, though, I think we can actually go ahead and continue past Cinder Volcano, it's been so long. Trainer tips, talk to Lapras to ride it down the waterfall. Where? Where is he? Where is he? Not this way, that's for sure. Where is he? Show me the Lapras. Show me the friend. Lapras is friend. Give me the Lapras. So while we are just running through Route 4, and I'm assuming we're heading towards, I think it was Crater, Crater, Crater Town or something? There you be. There you be. Do I care about anything else this way? What's this lead festival? Raina. Okay, sure. We'll check this way first, because they did put a tip sign to go to the Lapras, which makes me think that the Lapras actually leads me to the next town, but either way. Um, while we're battling random trainers, I want to talk about a game that I played recently, and that game is called A Way Out, right? Not too long ago, maybe like a month ago, I played through a game called It Takes Two with a friend, and honestly, super cool game. Amazing game. So we went ahead and looked into what other games that company had made, and we found a way out, right? It's basically like, your two characters in a prison break, right? That's the best way to say it. You're, uh, you're in a prison, you're breaking out of prison using all of these like different tools you have around and stuff like that. Super cool game. At first, I wasn't fully in on it, right? I thought it was like a 6 out of 10 game, it was fun but it felt like watching a movie more than playing a game. There's a lot of cutscenes and there's a lot of like story, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. It can be, it can be kind of nice. Okay, all right, we can't go that way. That's fine, I'm actually kind of happy about that. But by the end, obviously I'm not gonna spoil anything, right? By the end, that six out of 10 game went to an immediate eight out of 10 game. That might be one of the best endings to a game that I've played in such a long time. So much so that I want to gush about it in the middle of a Pokemon Unbound playthrough. Yep, it's that it's that interesting of an ending. Uh, you do need a friend to play it, but I think it's only one of you that actually needs to buy the game and the other one can like play a, a sort of free pass, if you will, so that you can both play together. Very fun game, very nice little co-op game, highly recommend. It Takes Two, also amazing game. Highly recommend. Both of those games made by that company are great, okay? They are absolutely great. I would have even considered like streaming it or something, but obviously I had to play it through with a friend as a co-op game and my friend didn't want it streamed, so you know. Plus it's always never a bad thing to just play a game on your own time, you know? Just sitting down and playing a game without having a camera in your face can be kind of nice. Don't get me wrong, I play through these games like Pokemon Unbound with a camera in my face because I enjoy it at the end of the day, but sometimes you just want to play a game, right? It's all good. Like, lately, I started playing through, if I can get my words out, I started playing through Pokemon's Universe again, but this time I'm doing it as a Nuzlocke. And I'm gonna be honest, game's much harder as a Nuzlocke. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Who would have thought the <laughs> difficulty increase would be a difficulty increase? I know, but I'm at the first gym, 
I did the first gym. I had a really good team. I decided to take a different starter this time. I took the, uh, the Shulong, the water type starter. And the starter's great, okay? The starter is absolutely great. But that Spiritomb in that first gym in Pokemon Xenoverse absolutely annihilated like half of my team, all right? Grass Knot apparently is very good against Xeno Elected is all I'm gonna say. Uh, they survived, they survived, my Pokemon survived, but they didn't survive well, it was very scary. Uh, trainer tips, keep an eye out for trees with shady area between them. Mmm, hidden grottos. Okay, okay. Interact with the trees and prepare to face a tough Pokemon. In fact, if you use Cut, you'll even find one on this route. Well, they, they basically said, hey, don't worry about it until I have Cut. So if we just find the Cut tree, then we're realistically fine and we know where it is. Okay, sounds good to me. Uh, I am just gonna go ahead and put, I guess, Robombi in front. Robombi was doing pretty well, so we'll keep that in front. And we will go ahead and see what else we can find. I'm kind of just running around this route at the moment looking for where the town is. I don't feel like fighting every single trainer. I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel like fighting all of the trainers is all that important uh, because of the whole level cap situation. Pokemon Daycare, that I'm curious about. Ooh. Five. I think? Yep, five. Okay, I can't count to five. Hooray. Good. <laughs> Hi. I've been researching the relationship between incense and Pokemon breathing. It's slow going, but it would be faster if someone helped me out. Stay, would you like to help me with my research? Absolutely not. I know the basics. There's like incense to let you get, you know, why not from a Wobbuffet. Use like a lax incense or a full incense and you get like a much lax instead of a Snorlax. I don't remember this specific incense though. I'm the daycare man, I have to take care of precious Pokemon. Uh, we're not gonna be doing anything with the daycare, really. Now, as a student in the Pokemon Breed School, I know the best way to raise loving Pokemon is to battle with them in important battles. You seem like an important trainer, can you help me raise my Pokemon? You gonna give me a Pokemon? Oh, no, I didn't read what he said very well there, did I? Really didn't read that very well. You have six Pokemon, buddy. You have six Pokemon. You burned me, that's disgusting, how dare you. And just dual shot through. We get Hex. That's really annoying, actually. Hex is pretty annoying considering we're banned. Robux should go down to this dual shot. This is gonna be actually kind of rough because he's gonna have. Normally, these trainers aren't so bad because they have six Pokemon, but they're all lower level. But because they all match my level because of the difficulty, this is actually horrible. Cleffa. Yeah, that's annoying. I mean, I'm just gonna sand tomb it, I guess. Or at least hopefully I will, unless we hit ourselves. But we hit ourselves. And we get Encored, which doesn't matter, we're gonna go down to the burn anyway. Not the ideal start, you know, losing a Gabite. It's not, not the dream. Um, I guess we can just Metal Claw, and we'll be fine. I hate the fact that I have to take this fight semi-seriously, I hate that. This should not be a fight that I have to take seriously. But Metal Claw does one-shot the Cleffo, which is nice. Any attack boost? No attack boost, okay. What else do you have? More, just a bunch of baby Pokemon? Purloin, I mean, I'm gonna power up punch on it. Please boost me. I would love an attack boost. All right, this is gonna quickly become a Lucario Sweep. I like this. This makes me feel more comfortable. I'm just gonna go back to speed through it. We can Metal Claw the Flabebe. Flabebe gone, okay. Cherubi, I can low sweep that. I have base power. Rolts, again, Metal Claw. This worked out, Lucario did it, nice. I can feel my baby's getting stronger already. Weird sentence. Weird sentence. <laughs> Don't like you're saying that sentence. <laughs> Thank you for battling with me. Come back tomorrow to help me train again. No, I thought you were gonna give me something. God oh, dang it. What's this? A great ball. Okay. All right. I mean, sure. Is this not the right way? Rally Woods down Crater Town. Pokemon Daycare to the left. Okay, so we want to head straight down rather than anywhere else. Okay. Down it is. We're gonna head this way. How do I get to that? We have to come up. Okay. Well, we're just gonna hug the wall. If in doubt, hug the wall. Okay? It'll work out. Trust. Unless there's an island. If there's an island, then you're gonna hug the wall forever and you're stuck in an infinite loop. And, uh... Then... I'm sorry. <laughs> if you've taken my advice and found an island... Worst case scenario, really. Growlithe can be found here. We could make like a really good fire team around this area with like Cinder Volcano, Growlithe's. We could make a really good team. Between Growlithe, Salazzle, and Torkoal, 
It's a shame we already kind of fought the grass type gym, or I guess technically the flower gym, but let's be honest, it was a grass type gym. Well, I mean, there was more fairy types. I guess it was flower themed. Which makes me wonder what the themes for the future are gonna be. Is Crater Town gonna be just crater themed with like ground rock and steel types and sand? Because I don't think I'd hate that. I do not think I would hate that. I would actually be kind of okay with that. Um, I also suck at fighting a Growlithe right now. Because my Minior has no ancient powers left. Which isn't the dream. Agility is fine. We can go ahead and just go and air slash realistically. It'll do decent damage. Yup, we can go for another one. Yup, that does the job. Hound R comes in. Again, I'm just... I might even like... I might also be... Yeah, I was considering stacking Echo Voice, because that does get stronger, like, the more times you use it in succession. A little bit like Metronome, but way better than a Metronome. You know, the item Metronome, not the move, just to avoid confusion. But, in the right hands, Echo Voice can start becoming real powerful. It can be very difficult, especially with a knocked out, to be tanky enough to really, like, get space power off, though. What do we have over here? We have Super Repel. I'm curious what's on the left. Just because I do want to see a cut tree. What's this? Hi. Hey? I have adventurous Pokemon to give away, but you can't do anything with a full party of Pokemon. Okay. Storage system. Well, I mean, I guess we'll just put... Um, well, Goodbye at the moment has zero HP. It's still on the team. I'm not changing the layout for this. I just want to grab the Pokemon. Hello there, Boris I recently moved here with my free Pokemon from the Unova region. I've been raising them on my own up until this point, but lately they've been craving adventure. Hmm. Hmm. This is a tough one. I don't like Tepic. I don't. Okay. I have. I just caught a Torkoal, a Salazzle, there's Growlithe here. There are better fire types. Snivy is not bad if it has Contrary. Snivy is not bad if we have Contrary. If we doesn't have Contrary though, then you have a Grass type that does nothing. But if it has Contrary, it's really good. It's really, really, really good. Leaf Storm Contrary, amazing. Oshawott, it's kind of the middle ground. It's just decent, you know? It's not gonna do anything crazy for me. Realistically speaking, it's not bad. It's not bad. There's no downside to taking an Oshawott. But I feel like I'm gonna go big or go home, take the Snivy and see if it has Contrary, because I don't really care for the Gen 5 stars. They are, by a pretty large margin, my least favorite starters. Like, the only one I somewhat like is Snivy. And that's only because it beat the absolute living hell out of Pikachu in an episode, or in the anime, and I, I kind of found a newfound respect for it. So, we'll take the Snivy. It has the calm nature. Honestly, that's fine. I don't mind that nature. Extra defense, lowered attack, that's kind of okay. I'm gonna call you, um, Snorkel, because that's a perfect name, realistically, for a Snivy. If you can work out why, congrats, you're doing better than me. Come back when you have at least four badges during the day, anytime after 8am, okay, specific enough, so I can give you more. Wild Pokemon like to wander about at night, so I routinely lock my door to keep them out. Hey, okay. I mean, we'll go ahead and we'll take the Gabite back out if I can click move Pokemon, and we will check the Snivy. Are you contrary? Oh, bro. Max attack, special attack, and speed. It's decent. Decent stats, to be honest. Decent stats. I'm not going to use it at the moment, because I feel like my team is debatably better. Maybe? I mean, they're leveled up, so I mean, in that regard, they're way better. But still, cool idea. I like the fact that we got the starters, at least. There's the cut tree that we need. Okay, so that's where the grotto is going to be. Does that mean we are near the town? Are we going to be fighting a gym today? We might end up fighting a gym today. Or at least fighting a gym with one attempt today and getting wrecked. Because I don't think we're going to be beating gyms on our first try. Crater Town. Well, we're here. Time to go ahead, heal up our Pokemon, and I guess explore, and then maybe challenge the gym for a little bit. If we can at least work out the typing of the gym, then we can have a little bit of preparation going. Which will be pretty nice. All Pokemon have abilities. Abilities can both help and hinder the user, depending on the ability. This is true. Flash Fire and Fast Light, you're more likely to encounter wild Pokemon that are the fire type. That is true. That's true. If you have Lightning Rod, you're more likely to find electric types and stuff like that. Some gym leaders you'll encounter later on in your journey rely on the power of Mega Evolution. 
Oh. You need to be wary and prepare for this if you want to beat them. If you don't know what Mega Evolution is, think of it as a mega power-up. That's true. I like Mega Evolution, though. It used to be a Clefairy by the bookshelf a long time ago. I wonder where it went. There appears to be a hidden path behind the bookshelf. Follow it. Hi! Um... Uh... Do I even care? Oh, I mean, I, I'll catch it, because why not, I guess? Maybe it'll have better stats, or a signature move, or something. Maybe it'll have something that's good about it. I, t I don't really know. I'm just gonna stun spawn. I'm just gonna, like, pull on top of it. And if it lives, cool, I'll catch it. If it doesn't, oh well. Sam and Cry. Yeah, that's not really good. I might even just struggle buggy down, to be honest. We do very little. Yeah, we can pull it off. That's fine. We get a special attack drop, which is nice. What other moves do you have? Sam and Cry. That doesn't tell me anything else about what you have, the fairy. We'll just pull and puff. It's resisted. It shouldn't do too much. It's fine. That amount of HP is okay to be caught. This arm and cry again? I mean, I don't mind having a Clefairy, but I already have a Fairy type. So I just don't know if I care for the Clefairy. Better defensively than Rebondi, at least. So if we need something more defensive, then I guess that could be useful, but... The annoying part about Rebombi at the moment is its best thing about it is its base 124 speed, and we just fight trainers that have max IVs, max EVs, and speed a lot, so it just always gets outsped, like by the Swoobat and stuff. You have a nickname. Sure, we'll call you... Clump. <laughs> I'm so sorry to my Pokemon, they just... <laughs> They're not getting good names today, okay? They're not getting good names. Hey, dude, I found the fairy. Alright, never mind. I guess he doesn't care. That's fine. You know that Vega fellow? He was always so dark and moody. Ha ha ha. Okay. Sure. Go ahead and check the Clefairy real quick. Are you good? Brave nature. Kind of trash. Not gonna lie. Don't like that. Decent special attack. Decent special defense. Terrible defense. Has cute charm. Rather than magic dart. I'd much prefer magic dart. It has misty terrain. has misty terrain. Interesting. I don't know if that... Because I know before we fought the Grass-type gym, they had grassy terrain up. So, theoretically, if there was a terrain up in this next gym, it wouldn't be that unusual, and we could have a counter. It's not a bad idea. It could. That might be the reason it's there. I heard there's someone in the town, or in Ptarmigan Town, who teaches the art of Mega Evolution. Can I get a Mega Lucario? Can I, can I get genuine question here? Can I get a Mega Lucario? Because that'd be pretty good. Hey trainer, what you want me to say something interesting? Fine then. Lately I've been having trouble with my brother. He's got himself in deep with this gang calling themselves the Black Emblem. I don't really know what it's all about, but I'm really worried for his safety. I haven't spoken with him in days, so I'm afraid something bad has happened to him. What's that? You'd be willing to check up on him for me? I mean, sure, if I find him. That's Fine. It's the kind of quest that you'll just randomly stumble across, I guess. You can probably find him in the Northern KBT Expressway. KBT makes you think CBT, and the, anyway. I'd go myself, and I'm too weak of a trainer. They say these black Embor are insanely vicious. Okay. Sure, sure. Door is locked, that's fine. Meteorites and Crater Town are imbued with some sort of cosmic power. They say if a certain Pokemon comes in contact with them, strange things will happen. Deoxys? Uh, we have these two down here, but they look like they're blocking a path, and I don't want to stumble into them anyway. What are you doing? And the Pokemon move Maniac. Ooh. Also a Heart Scale Maniac. I don't think I have one of those yet, but that's a good thing to know. I like knowing where he is, at least. That's good. That's good. We will go ahead and just continue. Did you know that if you talk to the gym referees before being the gym leader, will give you a free gift? Did you? Yeah, I did. Did you know that if you talk to the gym referees after being the gym leader, they'll give you a gift then also? Did you? Uh, I'm... Kinda. Look at you, smarty pants. <laughs> okay. Okay. 30 years ago, a large meteorite was hurling towards Boreas. 
The astronomer's acute corp, I like that name, predicted that if it wasn't stopped, it would fall directly on Valley City, this city, and end all life living here. With great haste, we began the evacuation of the city. As we were about to make our escape through the expressway, we heard the news. The meteorite was now predicted to crush half of the region. If we attempted to flee underground, there'd be a large chance we'd be buried alive. Chaos ensued. All of us fought hopeless until he arrived. A Bidoof? Aros, the legend. Okay, alright. Close. Close. He arrived alongside Arceus and used a small Pokemon to teleport everyone to East Boreas. Safe from harm. Like a Ralts? Oh no, probably the Hooper. Duh. He planned to attack the meteorite head on and smash it to bits. I can't believe I fought Ralts first. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Once he transported everyone to safety, it said that he rode on Rayquaza and smashed into the meteorite. It shattered and most of the small fragments fell on Valley City. The city was destroyed, but Aros had saved a region. I will never forget the heroic act that man performed. Okay, story boy. My grandfather survived a meteorite strike lots of years ago. He even made a friend of a Pokemon that fell from the stars. Wow. Oh, nice. Have you ever used the Expressway? It's an underground highway that goes around most of West Boreas. The acronym KBT is short for King Boreas III. Okay. I can't... I can't look at that without laughing. We got ourselves a our six side ourselves. We're counting. We are counting. Uh, well, we don't have rock climb. I guess it's time to look at the gym. Who do we want in front for this? Do we want to just keep Robombi in front? I mean, honestly, a Drainicus will heal me up and that'd be kind of nice, so sure. Wait, what was in the middle? Hold on. Oh, it's like a Ufa gym. Okay. Here. Oh, these are the meteorites that work with Deoxys. And then we would need Cut to go ahead and continue down that way. Alright, alright. Um, hi. Oh, it's you, champ of the making. I didn't see you there. Welcome to the Crater Town Gym. Let's start you off with some fresh water. Appreciate it. Like that. Mm hmm As you can see or can't see, this gym is centered around dark types. I don't think I'm that afraid of dark types. I'm sure I will regret saying that very, very quickly when we get to the gym leader, but at the moment, I feel pretty good against him. If you want to win here, a good starting point would be bringing fighting bug or fairy types. I have all three of those types. Just be aware, because of the many trainers that struggle in this gym, negative emotions will fill the air as you battle. These emotions will inflict damage at the end of each turn. I can't tell if this is just, like, gonna be a set value, or if it's gonna matter that my Pokémon hate me. Like, if all of my Pokémon are max friendship, will it do less damage? Only Dark Types, Ghost Types, and Pokémon with the abilities Magic Guard, Unaware, or Oblivious, unaffected. Okay. If you end up struggling because of the negative emotions, bringing a Pokémon that isn't affected could really help you out. Huh. But we didn't get a Magic Guard for Fairy, which is unfortunate. That would've been a dream, wouldn't it? Instead, we got Cute Charm, which doesn't help. Huh. Okay. Now getting to Vega, the leader is relatively simple. Navigate the dimly lit hallways and don't get spotted. If you get spotted, you'll either have to battle some trainers, or be sent back to the beginning of the hallway. Every trainee you defeat will brighten up the room, so I recommend battling them all first. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Oh. Oh. We have a pathway that way. We have a pathway this way. Oh. Gotcha. Ah, that's why I want to navigate. Oh, hi. I'm in a different place. Oh, no. According to my calculations, victory is ensured 100%. I no longer know where I am. I got teleported like a warp panel. Oh, no. The scientist to Dillweed. What a great name. What a great name. Imagine being called Dillweed. Negative emotions fill the air. So, I want a Draining Kiss. Puchan, I can only live on like one HP. Just so I can see the terrain effect. It did not live on one HP, but at least we got restored to full. That's fine. That's. that's fine. gonna get one XP, because obviously we still have the XP cap, it wasn't the uh, double battle that we did before that got us to the cap, meaning I'm gonna just put Lucario in second, and that way we have a fighting type and a bug fairy type in front. Between the two of them, we should be fine. Okay, it was very dark for a second. Um, oh, we're running into a double battle, sure. Scree! Scree! Back in my day, dark types were just a myth. Ah, Gen 1 before dark types, when psychic types were busted. I remember very well. 
I also remember rap existing, and I hated rap back then. I really did. Rap was the worst. Rap was just the worst. Um, right, we're gonna drain and kiss you, and we're gonna low sweep you. That is the plan. It is that simple. Like I said, between these two Pokemon, I do feel pretty dang good about my chances of winning. But I'm sure that will be proven wrong. I'm absolutely sure that will be proven wrong when we get to the gym leader. I am 100% certain that that will be proven wrong. But let's see this dark emotion is taking effect. What's Malcolm going to do? Wing attack? That's fine. It's going to hurt a lot. But what do the emotions do? Fomented by the negative emotions. How much did that do to Lucario, just so I know? That is... 11 HP out of 78. Hmm. So it's more than an eighth. Like a sixth? Okay. That's a little bit scary, to be honest. It's quite a lot of damage. Like, actually a lot of damage, to be honest. But okay. Hmm. It's a lot of damage, to be honest. And if it's a double battle and I'm taking that on both of my Pokemon every turn, that's going to be awful. Um, this just leads to a couch. Alright. Oh, we have another trainer behind us. Do you think you have what it takes to take on Vega? Maybe. I didn't expect the trainer to be behind me. Kind of weird. Youngster Dixon sends out Nuzleaf. Well, I mean... I kind of just bop it. Well, I would bop it with a Bug-type move. Sure, but... Am I going to take the negative emotions after? Shouldn't take me out anyway. It should only do like 10 damage at that HP, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't even know if it'll take effect if we just beat the Pokemon. Okay, it doesn't take effect if we just beat the Pokemon on a trainer. That's fine. I don't know how many more trainers we're going to have to fight. It's all complicated words and numbers that make no sense. Well, I'm going to go and heal. I feel like now we have to go past the whole warp panel system. Those people are not warp panels, don't get me wrong, okay? They are not warp panels, they are people, but you know what I mean. Where was the Pokemon Center? Was it this way? It was this way, okay. Where the Pokemon was, was exactly where I thought the Pokemon Center was for a second there, and it did confuse the ever-living daylights out of me for a second. I was like, what happened to the Pokemon Center? Why are they selling items now? What has happened? We do have berries. Will they be super useful? Maybe not. Maybe not. They might not be super useful, but we do have berries. And I do want to give the gym leader one attempt. So, let's go ahead, open up our berry pouch. We only have Chester berries. We don't have as many berries as I thought. The other game we're playing, <laughs> Pokemon Bushido, we have a lot of berries. <laughs> we do have a lot of berries. Um, we'll keep the Noctowl with us for the Reflect and stuff. Um... I don't think we want to lead with Reflect, I want to lead with Lucario in case I can get like a power-up punch off at the start and I can like start getting a sweep going. I want to keep Rebombi in the back for if there's any Sableyes, because Sableye caused us a massive problem in the last double battle we did. So I think this is fine. If there is a Sableye with Prankster that looks like it's going to will with my Lucario, we go into Minior and we do basically what we did before. We do like a repeat. We have Sandstorm. I don't know if Sandstorm can get rid of the Dark Emotions. I don't know if it's like a terrain effect like that, but that's also an option. Okay, I really- I need to just sit at that bottom plane. Okay, if I just sit here and wait for you to go past. Ah, and then I can duck down here. Okay. Oh, wait for you to go past. Okay. Very nervous about going forwards. Okay. Can you see someone come to this end? Yes. Dash. Okay, alright, this is a little bit close, don't like this. Do 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 oh hi do 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 No, there's another one. Hold on, cameraman, how far do you go? Okay, you go to there, I believe. I believe. Nailed it. Holy heck. Okay, I was not expecting that to go that well. Um, right. Who do I want to lead with? Lucario. I already went over this. I want a power punch. Okay. Alright. Hi, buddy. What's on this first of all? Okay, words and numbers to make no sense. Can I, like, take away your terrain? No? Okay. Hi. Ah, I see a challenger has passed my test. Tell me. What's your name? Valus. I see. Whisper, mutter, whisper, whisper, mutter, mutter, butter. I'm Vega. 
the leader of the Crater Town Gym. The somber atmosphere of this town has allowed me to channel all of my dark energy into one place. Alright, okay, you're a little bit edgy, I get it. Are you prepared to face it? I like the sunglasses, my dude. I like him. He's got style. He does have style. Lie hard. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of fine with power punching on that. Negative emotions fill the air, that's unfortunate, but I'm gonna... Well, low sweep would one shot. Low sweep would one shot. But power up punch combined with faint will also do the trick, and then I'll be at plus one for whatever comes out next, if I want to like faint that before I get taken out by something that outspeeds me. I like that plan. I want a power up punch. Jealous burn. Okay. Ow. Ow. Um, we do get the step. Does that still burn me? We're tormented by negative emotions, which takes us down to 4 HP. We can feign. We'll take out the life hard, but we are going to go down ourselves. One for one trade at the start, but I lost my fight type. Which isn't the dream. It's not the dream. And we're going to go down to the emotions. Huh. I wasn't expecting Jealous Burn, I'll be honest. Well... This is kind of our trial run in a way, so I'm fine with going straight out into Rabombi. And seeing if Rabombi is just able to destroy whatever comes out. Rabombi should be able to destroy whatever comes out. Honchkra. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm gonna go into Knockdown and try and set up a Reflect. Never mind. That's a scary Pokemon right there. It tries to protect. Well, that's great for me, actually. That's probably the best case scenario. I'm gonna reflect, because you're gonna have Brave Blood. Eka, that's not Brave Blood. Critical hit, okay. Calm down, buddy. We get the reflect up, which might mean absolutely nothing in that case. If it's a special punch crow, I just expect it to be physical with, like, sucker punch and stuff. I guess we'll try an air slash before we die, but I imagine we're just gonna get taken out by whatever. Dark Pulse, yup. Okay. That hurts. We do have Minior, and I think Minior would do better against this than a lot of other things, so we'll go into the Minior, and I guess we'll Ancient Power. I could start going for the rollout, but considering we saw that this thing has Protect, that seems like a terrible idea, so we'll just Ancient Power. Dark Pulse. It sucks this thing is special unless I set up a Reflect. Holy damage. Boost me. Boost me. Boost. 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 No boost. We are going to go into rubber form, though, which means we might outspeed. Honchkrow is not the fastest Pokemon of all time. We don't outspeed, he protects, and we're going to go down to the stupid, stupid terrain. That's just unfortunate. That's just unfortunate. If that's how much an ancient power did from my mini ore, I don't know if a draining kiss is going to be enough to take it out. 62 special attack. Minior... I mean, Minior's special attack is not good, right? And we hit in defense form when we were using, like, the lower numbers of these, so we'd have had, like, less than 59 special attack. Draining Kiss might take it out. Draining Kiss might take it out. This is our trial, you know? This is our test run against the gym leader. Is Draining Kiss gonna take out withdraws? Go into Spiritomb. Okay. So we've seen Spiritomb, Punch Pro, and Lipod. I feel like I want to swap this Ravombi out. I feel like Ravombi is my win condition. We're gonna get tormented by negative emotions. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Reflect wears off. Unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? We will go into... I'm expecting it to, like, Shadow Sneak or Sucker Punch or something, or Will-O-Wisp. Those are the moves I think of when I think of Spiritomb. I want to test something. I'm going to go into my Gabite and I'm going to set up the sand and see if it gets rid of the Dark Emotions. I don't think it will, because Dark Emotions is a pretty new thing. We do get burned, which is unfortunate. Um, I want to set up the sand. I do. I want to set up the sand and I want to get this thing trapped in a sand tomb if possible. I want to do both of those things. 
We get hit by the barn, we get hit by the negative emotions. I'm just gonna sandstorm. And we'll see if the negative emotions still tick. I imagine they will, but it, like I said, I wanna test. Infestation! You are a very defensive scummy Skirtoom, aren't you? You're gonna run Protect, you're gonna run Will-O-Wisp, you're gonna run Infestation, you're gonna run Sucker Punch when I get low. Gross. Gross. Absolutely gross. I'm gonna get the Leftovers Recovery. Between the burn and the, uh, the terrain, it's really gonna will me down quickly. And the infestation, yeah, this is just not good. He's gonna protect next turn and I'm gonna be done. It's gonna be that simple. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Jeez, okay. Well. Hmm. That's a problem. That Pokemon right there, that Spiritomb, that's a problem. I think bringing the Clefairy could be a good idea, because Fairy types seem like they'd be really useful. Fairy types have been super effective against like all three of them so far. Fairy types do seem like a good way to win. Like genuinely, I think you could win this gym with six Revolvies. <laughs> I think that would genuinely work, but... Um, I'm just gonna get burned if I go into Crobat, so I have to go into my Revolve. I have to start just spamming Draining Kiss. I could try and paralyze it, but I mean, we're on a timer realistically. So I just need to get as much damage off as possible. If we can get like a crit. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Ask and you shall receive or something. Spirit Team's probably gonna protect this next turn. I don't have Quiver Dance, unfortunately. I'm also gonna take Sandstorm damage, <laughs> which is not great right now. Sandstorm did not get rid of the terrain and it is only gonna realistically hinder me. So no setting up Sandstorm. If I'd gone for Sand Tomb, would have been residual damage, would have been better. Good to know for the future, potentially. Good to know for the future. Negative emotions. Yup. We'll Drain and Kiss. Tries to be up. There's the Protect, as expected. Yup. We knew that was going to happen. We're going to take Sandstorm. We're going to take everything he's going to get left over. So we're going to Drain and Kiss again. And we're going to take out the Spirit too. Um. I imagine if... Bunch Pro comes back in, we just Drain and Kiss, and we hope for the best. I think that's the plan. Sandstorm subsided, that's good. Depending on how much HP we can get back, like if his last Pokemon is like a Shift Tree or something. Okay. You're gonna suck punch me, aren't you? I'm gonna pull him off. Mega Absol. Okay, that's the scary Pokemon, isn't it? Polypuff? Do I outspeed? I'm imagining I don't outspeed. I imagine you're already trained and everything. Outspeed's knockoffs. Can I live that, maybe? No. Okay, alright, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. If I outsped that, I think we had a chance to win. I do. I mean, I guess the burn would have taken us out. But still. Um, I'm just gonna Supersonic. That's scary. Please land it. Magic. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. At least I'm. Uh, hey, dodged it. <laughs> okay, that Absol outspeeds my Crobat. Really, though. Really. My jolly natured Crobat with an A in speed. 93 speed. And it outspeeds me. Fighting Pokemon that are EV trained is kind of crazy, huh? Um, I guess I just cross poison. I mean, I'm gonna go down. Yeah, knockoff's gonna take us out. Well, we gotta look at the gym. I will give us some thought. We will come in next episode, and we will absolutely annihilate this gym leader. Okay? I will get Clefairy trained up, because having another fairy type will be nice. I will maybe look and see if we can get a Pokemon if maybe something like Taunt would be good. Taunt could be good for the spare tomb. Maybe. We know it has leftovers, so it doesn't have any like mental hub or anything. But I will definitely give it some thought. If the current battle that could have chosen is too challenging for you, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, Nurse Joy. Shut up. That was attempt number one. We learned what they had. We did see all four of his Pokemon, though, so we know what all of his sets are. That's really helpful. I will definitely give it some thought. For right now, though, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll be back for Bye.